What's up everybody, Superrana57 here with another mod tutorial. This is part two of my refined storage tutorial. Uh, hopefully you watched and enjoyed part one. Uh, this time we're going to get more into the automation side. So you have all kinds of different stuff. You got of course import, export, etc. But let's go ahead and dive in. You need your processing pattern encoder. What this does is it allows you to create the patterns for like your alloy smelter and other machines that are not typical crafting, like smelting you need the processing pattern encoder to make those kind of recipes I don't know why he decided to do it that way but whatever anyways so the way you make that is crafting table furnace machine casing patterns and quartz enriched iron this is where the patterns are starting to come in um, some of this stuff I did cover in the last tutorial so if you don't understand it you can either pull it up in your uh, just enough items or NEI or whichever one you're using or you can go back and watch the other video. Go ahead and watch the other one. It's better. Anyways, <laughs> you got your exporter, which allows you to push items out of your inventory, out of your system into another machine. And you have your importer, which allows you to bring it back into your system. And then you have your external storage. And this is a neat little device. And what this does is, say I've, well actually I've got these chests right here. So I'll go ahead and break this cable. Oops, fell the external storage bus right there and what it does is it now includes this chest with my system so if I open it up everything that's in that chest is now included in my inventory so say you have like in, in this mod tutorial you got the giant or the colossal chest I think is what it's called I mean okay Where is it? There it is. Yeah, colossal. I misspelled it. So yeah, you got your colossal chest. You put an internal store, or sorry, external storage bus on the interface of that chest, and boom, everything that's in there is now included in your system, and so you don't have to worry about moving everything over. So that's definitely nice. Put those back in there. And the recipe is two chests, improved processor, destruction core, construction core, three quartz enriched iron, and a cable. You also have your interface, which is importer, exporter, basic processor. Then you have your crafter, which is destruction core, advanced processors, two of them, destruction or construction core, and four quartz enriched iron, and machine casing. Uh, the crafter, what it does is it's basically like your, uh, what was that machine called? Pretty much you put your crafting recipes in this, and this is what allows you to... Uh, work with other machines uh, they do have it does have a way of facing so as you can see I place it down this one's facing up so I'd have to put the machine on top for it to interface with it properly this one I have facing the alloy smelter uh, you can get a wrench which I believe yeah at refund gives you this neat little wrench right here it's just six quartz enriched iron and basic processor and you get this little wrench The way, you, the way it works, you just right click it. Actually, you have to shift right click and it alters the direction. So, boom. But that is what you need. I believe you'll use the crafter more than anything as far as your automation. So, now you have your processing, pa processing pattern encoder. You got your crafter. Now you need to make the recipe. I'll take some gold some redstone glowstone and I want to make energized I believe it's called energized alloy is it the orange one yes energetic alloy sorry so energetic alloy Well, if you left click it, it reduces the item. If you right click it, it increases. So I want to take these down to two. I'll just do this. It's easier. And boom. And it also holds that recipe, so 
anytime I want to go back to it. There we go. Put your blank patterns in there, and boom. I have my recipe for one energetic alloy. Now I'll just go over here to the crafter, input that recipe, and now it is combining that recipe with this machine. So now, if I go over here, you see your energetic alloy. I want to craft 20. It's and start. It's automatically putting into the crafter and depositing it into here. Now this is where that uh, uh, where's the grid crafting monitor comes in. If you want, you just put it in here, and it tells you see 20 energetic alloy items processing. Like I said, I don't really like it, but it's a feature for those who do. Oh, I've got it. Uh, did I mess up the recipe? Redstone, gold, glowstone. Okay. Oh, I had my furnace turned off. Should be right. Why are you not working? Always active. Oh. Oh. I'll get it right in a minute. There we go. Okay. I had it turned off. Sorry. So, all smelting. Always active. Boom. Now it is making the energetic alloy and putting it right back into the system. There's that. Now, let's throw that in there. Now we're getting into the more heavy duty stuff. You got your network transmitter, your network receiver, your wireless transmitter, your wireless grid. Uh, the transmitter, what it does is just like it says, it transmits your network as a wireless signal. So I can place it like right here on my network attached by cable and it's transmitting signal over to here however in order to make it work you do need a network card and I thought I had the network card recipe in here I'm sorry so let's find there it is network card just need one advanced processor two filter two papers six quartz enriched iron and you have your network card Once you have your network card, you have your receiver placed, you right click it. Simple as that. You just right click it, come over to your transmitter. You see it says linked. And it tells you it's 16 blocks away. Your receiver lights up, it means it is now communicating. So now that you have it communicating, you just hook up your crafting grid and you can access your network wirelessly, or not wirelessly, but you can access it elsewhere. So you don't have to move everything. You can have it set up to bounce around. Like uh, you have a transmitter here, you have your receiver here, set up another transmitter here, go even further away and set up another receiver, and so on and so forth. You also have your range upgrade to allow this to transmit even further because it does have a limit and the range also upgrade also goes towards the wireless transmitter of course the wireless transmitter works with wrong chest the wireless grid as you can see it does take a lot of vendor pearls which makes sense for the wireless or for the yeah the transmissions you need a lot of advanced processors so make sure you're stocked up on diamonds and then wireless transmitter all you do is place it on your cable I've got range upgrades to allow it to go even further see so it says up to 48 blocks so I can go up to 48 blocks with my wireless grid and access my network however once you craft your wireless grid you have to link it to your system all you do is come to your controller shift right click it that's it now it is linked and then you just come over here you got the capacitor 
charge it up. Simple as that. Boom. And then you have the you have the range upgrade and you have the speed upgrade, which allows uh, the speed upgrades mostly for like your crafters and your other automated machines. However, as you can see, these recipes are a little bit different. Uh, these require the solderer. So you take the ender pearl, redstone, and a plain upgrade, which you make by improved processor, two glass, six quartz enriched iron, and you have your upgrade. Come over to your solderer, yeah, ender pearl, redstone, upgrade, and boom, it is now making the range upgrade. And same for the speed. It has to be in your solderer. Now, moving on, the exporter. The way that works, I'm going to take the trash can out of here. And I'll place it right there. It is now connected to my trash can. As you see, it has nothing in its inventory. All you do is take whatever item block you want to put in your exporter. Shift right or shift left click it. Now it is exporting all cobblestone from my ME system fairly slowly into the trash can. There's a range upgrade. Let's go ahead and get the speed upgrade so I can show you a little bit. Put that in there. You see it's going a little bit faster, not ridiculously fast, so if you want to stack them you can. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what the speed upgrade does. Um, for the crafter, when it uh, puts the items into the machine, for some reason, it is only export, pretty much. And so it will put the items in. However, it does not take them back. And so in order to make that work, you do need an exporter or sorry, importer on the machine to help bring the items back into your inventory or back into your system. That being said, you can automate the solderer. However, one thing to note, very important, you cannot automate it like this where the solderer is on top of the controller because the output for the solderer is on bottom. Automatically, there's no configuration, the export is on bottom. So if you want to automate it, make sure you have your uh, importer, or I'm, I'm actually not sure. Let's go ahead and give this a shot, because I think, I mean, with it being the same mod, I wonder if it'll automatically... Let's see here. Let's let's get a recipe going. I'm gonna get. Let's go ahead and get processors. I want to automate the processor. So we get printed basic processor. Oh, silicone. Need print silicone. Redstone. So you're gonna learn right here with me. And basic processor. So now we're going to go up here to pattern encoder to printed silicone, redstone, oh, basic printed basic processor makes one basic processor. Um, I will need a crafter. And apparently I need my wrench because it doesn't want to face the right way. There we go. So now we'll go ahead and put that in there. And we'll deposit these items. display only craftables apparently if you have any in there it won't let you so let's go ahead and start one processor 
Okay, so deposit everything properly. Now let's see if it actually outputs without having an importer. That's what I'm curious about. Since it's the same mod, does it just need the cable? No, it does need the importer. That's strange, but definitely interesting. So now you know, if you want to automate your solder, you will need an importer. Click the wrong thing. Come on. There we go. How interesting is that? So now you know, and that is how you automate your system using refined storage as compared to applied energistics. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. Have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know, and I will do my best to answer them. But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.